It's part of the flesh. You want to, but the only way you will get through it so that you will learn from the test is to trust. To put the worry on hold, to set it aside, deliberately shoving it away and saying, God, at this moment, I rest in you and you alone. If you're married, God help my spouse and me to trust you. To lean on you, to wait on you, to listen to you, to endure the test with you. Many of you are much better at worrying than you are at trusting. If you were to put together a worry list, it would outrun your prayer list. And you're worried right now about something. Most likely, it's related to something about your schoolwork. Some course, some class, some test. Or maybe your finances. You don't have enough money. I'll give you a word of encouragement. You'll never have enough money. So you're worried now, you're getting good at it, so you can carry that with you when you graduate because you won't have enough money then. So you're worried about that. And you do not trust God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Now we have a problem with this because of several things. First of all, we are to blame self-sufficient. We have learned how to get ourselves out of jams rather than acknowledging the jam has very well been either directed or permitted by our sovereign God to teach us. And by not trusting him, we short circuit the test and go our own way, getting ourselves out of our own mess. Two single syllable words that you have heard forever, but you will discover as time passes, how difficult they are to obey. Trust God.